And that's it for now. The next News on One is at midnight.
I had a very, very specific request for that track, and I can't find it anywhere, and it's taken me six minutes to try and find it, and uh, nowhere. From the LP Atomizer, though, that's Big Black, and that was called Kerosene, of course, as I'm sure you know. As I'm sure you know. Tonight we've got a session, the first session from the Icelandic Ensemble Sugar Cubes for you. In the meantime, though, The Smiths. <laughs> I've been in this building, you know, since seven o'clock this morning. I mean, all day locking horns with the forces of reaction and uh, an agonising day. Later, I was on the same mistake earlier on. Curses! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's going to be one of those nights. I can tell it's going to be one of those nights. As I say, the only time I get to actually relax is when I come on the radio at ten o'clock. A very stressful day, otherwise. Those were the Smiths, of course, and Nowhere Fast, one of the three tracks taken from our session that's included on the compact disc version of Last Night I Dreamt That Somebody Loved Me, also presumably the 12-inch version of it, although I've not seen that yet. The other tracks being Rush Home Ruffians and William It Was Really Nothing. Now, gra- Grasshopper meets the... Sorry, Grasshopper meets the Master. I'll get all of this right shortly, don't you worry. Master? Oh, Master. How could one become a great DJ and rock the music of the past with a touch of today? Grasshopper. One should learn from the mistakes of others and seek knowledge and wisdom from a rap music lover. Now, son, start smiling, because we're taking you on a trip to Fantasy Island. And, son, I want you to bust this. <laughs> Now, Grasshopper, taking something from the past with scratches and cuts of today. This jam from 1969 would have been done this way. Oh, Master, that's great. Picture this, 
you're one step beyond the twilight zone and someone just entered into your club now they're depending on you to pump up the value and somewhat leave their frustration in the streets as they jam to your funky beats now to ensure yourself that you can do this one must throw out some ole olas and let the racket respond first then the crowd will follow i'll show you what's the move yeah okay ola 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 Ready to knock some boots? What's happening here? Super Ace, Superstar A. Ma, and uh, the record featuring J.B. Rock. A great record, though. Grasshopper Meets the Master is the title of it. In just a moment, the first from the Sugar Cubes. I'll have a go at telling you who they all are, though. There's Bjork Goodman, Goodman's daughter, uh, vocals. Einar Benedictson, vocals and trumpet. Siggy Balderson, uh, drums. Flicky Ellison, Ellingson, guitar. Braggy Olison, bass. And Thor Eldon, guitar. Not bad, I think, really. And this is Motor Crash. <laughs>
mtu wala chiani stella naya stella naya please stella naya haya kuisa haya kuchila bombwe kama na mwana nafi afya sana bane sana fi eh huyu mnesu ale lilo mkashi wa stella oba oba nomba kampi ule kwa nyanya polisi bane huyu mnianza na wewe anda kwa
The label credits the Tamlins and Trinity, although there's not much evidence of Trinity on that, I think, and that comes from one of my favourite Christmas LPs, Yard Style Christmas. Got a great sleeve, as I've tell you, told you year after year over the last four or five years, and that, of course, was Silent Night. Before that, it was the Sugar Cubes, and their first one for us tonight in session, which was Motor Crash. Now the Jack Tires. <laughs> Tars, that is, J-A-C-T-A-R-S, in case you're tempted to spell it some other way, on Vulcan Records, a 12-inch single, and that track's called Tongue, one of three tracks on there. And from Tackhead, Reality. <laughs>
That's Tackhead on On You Sound and Reality, of course, the current 12-inch. And uh, Tackhead and Adrian Sherwood are dealt with fairly thoroughly in the current issue, well, in the November issue, in fact, of Option Musical Alternatives magazine, uh, American magazine, $2.50. And I think it's brought into this country and it's fairly generally available. It also has pieces on New Order and that Petrol Emotion and the Feelies and uh, Mark Hollander, the Oyster Band and others. In fact, on the front cover, I'm not entirely sure that that's not Adrian Sherwood himself staring rather balefully out at us. That's on Option magazine. Now, this is the second one. We seem to be moving on at a cracking pace here. The second one tonight from the Sugar Cubes in session, Cold Sweat.
Begin after eight taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Begin after eight cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like these records, I must say. That last one was by Few, and uh, that's a record that was brought to me by my friend Koichi Hanafusa from Japan. He gave it me earlier this evening, and it did vaguely remind me of the Sugar Cubes, only very vaguely, I must confess, and that track was called Dirge. Few, incidentally, is P-H-E-W. Not a great name, I would have thought, but presumably in Japan it doesn't have the implications that it might have here. Before that, the Sugar Cubes in session and Cold Sweat. This next record is for Mark T in Her Majesty's Youth Custody Centre in Aylesbury. Sweet tea. What? You didn't know Christmas went hip-hop? Check the clock and let the jingle bells rock. <laughs> Seriously say, you heard a girl rock the 
mic this way I say it with feeling, add a little passion But I do it in a ladylike fashion On the go, whether fast or slow I'm a pro, so my rhyme slow Grab a friend and have some fun here Christmas is once a year Turn on your radio, rock with sweet tea Shake your body to the Christmas beat So now you know Christmas is hip hop Don't stop, let the jingle bells rock And to all a good night. Jingle Bells Rock. And that you won't be surprised to hear is the title of the piece, Sweet Tea from the LP Christmas Rap on London Records. Now let the Jingle Bells Rock. Here's Bob. Come on, Bob, you can do better than that. Come on.
That's Bob from that 12-inch on Sombrero Records. What a performance. And according to some information that I was sent a week or so ago, I must confess, Bob will be playing, for those of you in the London area, in the Rough Trade Shop in uh, Talbot Road, West 11. And that's on Saturday, this Saturday, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So that ought to be quite entertaining. I'd like to see them, actually. I must admit, I do like this record a lot. Uh, the people who told me this, or the person who told me this, was David, who's the uh, editor of Trout Fishing in Leytonstone. And in the current issue, uh, they've got pieces on the Raw Herbs, Elvis, Cary Grant, the Desperados, Bob themselves, the Chesterfields, Patrick Hamilton, uh, let's see, who else is there? Buddy Holly, and I uh, wrote a few things down here myself. No, that's all of it, actually. I think Montgomery Cliff, I think. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, I'll give you an address for it in just a moment, in case you don't already have one, because I have mentioned it on previous programmes, but it's the size of uh, a seven-inch single, so that's the kind of size of stamped addressed envelope that you need to send. And as I say, I'll give you an address to send it to after this, which comes from the Hickoids, Animal Husbandry. <laughs> Those are the Hickoids from an LP that's forthcoming by any known standard. It's not available even in America yet. Band from Austin, Texas, and that track's called Animal Husbandry. Now, 50p in a stamped addressed envelope if you want a copy of Trout Fishing in Leytonstone, which also includes a, a flexi-disc. Who's on this one? Let's see. Uh, Reserve and the Sidleys on the, this particular flexi-disc. 50p in a stamped addressed envelope to David at 36 Colville Road. That's C-O-L-V-I-L-L-E, Colville Road, Leytonstone, London, East 11. 50p and a stamped addressed envelope to David, 36 Colville Road, Leytonstone, London, East 11. James Brown. Everybody over there! Get on up!
That's from the 1986 compilation James Brown and the Jungle Groove. The time will eventually come, and I think quite soon, when every possible combination of James Brown records will have been reissued. And uh, then they'll probably just start again at the beginning, I suppose. From Dinosaur Jr., very much flavour of the week, this is In a Jar. I'll be
That's the track that doesn't get played very much. Well, I mean, none of them get played as much as they should be, but that's the one that gets played least of the three, I suppose, on the current 12-inch. The other two being Little Fury Things and Show Me The Way, as I'm sure you know. And uh, that was called In A Jar. Back with our guests from Iceland on tonight's programme, in session for the first time, uh, Delicious Demon. Oh, no. What's happened to that? <laughs> ah. Takes two to pour the water. Two cloud takes two as well, but only one to hold up the sky. One plays the harp, beats a rock with a stick. The question of indecision is one that is most important because this can keep a person awake night after night. There is a Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Well, I'd really like to do, I think, is start this programme again from the top. <laughs> if we can do that, it's only like an hour and nine minutes into it, probably not. That's Bill Doggett from an LP Honky Tonk from a few years ago, Floyd's Guitar Blues, and before that, The Sugar Cubes in session, Delicious Demon. And I seem to be plagued by one of those tonight, I must say. On Monday night, we have the Radio 1 debut, in a sense, from Sync, who used to be Bad Dress Sense, but for some reason, uh, best known to themselves, have decided to be Sync from now on, and also a recent-ish session from the Darling Buds as well. This is Eaton Crop, and uh, from the LP uh, and the underwater music goes on, Human Beans. <laughs> Eaton Crop, and that's from their current LP, their best LP, in fact, on Eddie Esther Records, Human Beans, the title of the track. And I was just having a look to see what happens tomorrow night on Radio 1. Janice, for example, goes behind the scenes of the headquarters of the AIDS Helpline, which celebrates its first birthday tomorrow, and there's a session from Ghost Dance. Then at nine o'clock, my top ten, repeated from Saturday, in which Ben of Curiosity Killed the Cat talks to Andy Peebles and chooses his ten all-time favourite music tracks. That ought to be pretty riveting. And then from ten till midnight, Andy Kershaw, featuring sessions from John Fay and The Dinner Ladies. Cool Modi from an LP which I like a lot called How You Like Me Now. Don't dance. Much 
attention to the rhymes like these. What's your part of my name? Others part of my fame. What's your rhythm? Now the people think that we're on the same level of intelligence. But that's irrelevant. If we ever battle head up, you won't do well like this. I'm the originator. The only recreator. Calm time bomb with an inner mind detonator. Ready to blow up and totally show up. A rapper, I'll slap it with a mean rhyme slower. Huh, you wanna go up against me then throw up. Y'all might stand with me playing to get toe up. Cause I'm gonna rip ya. I would strip it of the title, but I got it. So get off my tip. Y'all wanna be me, MC, ooh wee. I'm rocking me now. I know I'm rocking you cause I can see your hand. Hot bobbing cause I'm rocking saying you heard the man. Don't dance. Bow down, bend and be kneeling, praying to me like a god. Go on, just say my rhyme, go on mine subconsciously and know that you can't live up to my rap status. Truck, you might give up, cause I am relentless. That's why I spent this time to make a fresh rhyme and invent this style that you're hearing. Year out and year in, the suckers keep stealing it and then swearing the god they didn't take it. They know they didn't make it, but you can't lie to yourself. Give me a break, it seems to me that I was your favorite hip hop hero back in the days that undoubtedly. Obviously, true, you wanted to be another Modi When you started rhyming, you see, you had to be To some degree, an imitation variation of me And now all of a sudden, your competition So now you think you can change my position Don't be dumb, I'm still number one When you hit me, come, you better run And hide out and enjoy yourself While you got the crowd fooled Believing you're the best, cause I'ma take you to school And if you really think you're better, I want proof I'm calling you out, this is the moment of truth Don't dance Many married people are lying awake because they either don't like a single bed or a double bed, or because one partner wants the window open and the other wants it shut. It's safe as out of my head, though my heart's up, I keep it. The arrow came from nowhere, though consciously, I don't care. Back of my feet, though things are quite as sweet Too clever for my own good Was there something I That's from a 12-inch EP called Heaven Forbid by Whirl, which is on Playroom Records, and the track I played you was Mr Strikes Back. You won't be too surprised, probably, to learn that I don't get very many of the records that are issued by uh, the BBC, but I have been said a couple here. One of them is an opera LP, actually, which I'm quite looking forward to hearing. I mean, sort of classic opera things from uh, earlier in the century. Why they sent me that, I simply don't know, but, I mean, they do work in a very curious way. They're wonders to perform. And uh, one of the other LP that they sent me was the classic years in digital stereo, Silly Songs, 1922 to 1934. And uh, this is one of those records that's been re, uh, uh, reprocessed in a way, uh, I don't really f begin to understand it, by Robert Parker. My two middle names again. It's nothing to do with the man who did bare footing, but uh, obviously a very clever man indeed. And uh, he's taken the original 78s and done them so that they sound as though they were recorded recently. And that 
I quite like that kind of period ambiance, but it's not entirely lost in this. Anyway, uh, from the six jumping jacks from the LP Silly Songs 1922 to 1934, this is uh, I Do Not Choose to Run. <laughs> Thank you. 
know this story. They only had one banana. That's right. So the mother monkey broke the banana into two halves and gave the baby monkeys half each. Then the boy monkey said, her piece is bigger than mine. So the mother monkey bit a piece off the girl monkey's banana. A few more months of this and rather fewer mistakes. That could be another Steve Wright, you know. That's Loop and it comes from the LP Heaven's End on Head Records, straight to your heart. Before that, from the BBC LP Silly Songs, 1922 to 1934, I Do Not Choose to Run, by the Six Jumping Jacks with Tom Stacks, vocal, and Harry Racer at the banjo. I wish somebody, the BBC, if, pos- if possible, could put out an LP of the work of Ollie Oakley. There never was a better man on the banjo, I think, than Ollie Oakley. I've got one of his 78s at home, possibly two, and it's, uh, in fact, I said, hi, 
I was still clean. You can tell, can't you, that barring misadventure, they're going to be around for quite some time. Those are the sugar cubes, and that's Deus. I look forward to hearing the LP. I must say, it was supposed to, of course, come out a while ago, but uh, the single's been so successful that they've held it back until sometime in the new year. And uh, somebody once promised to give me a tape of it, and never did. Frustrating. This is Switch, featuring Overlord X, recently heard in session on this very programme. So rock. <laughs> Don't stop, don't stop. 
Put your coming live from the start, get up, get up Definitely a hawk, just I mean to be blunt No retreat, no surrender, when keep it to flunk Going forward, not back, sing around to attack All you drunks to bump, we ain't taking no crap Switch featuring Overlord X on Hot Plate Records, and that's called So Rock. And uh, another track from the LP Mindless Slaughter, which we've been featuring on and off over the past few months, uh, on Anthrevin Records. And this is Chumba Wamba's excellent Knit Your Own Balaclava. <laughs>
my goodness me, when they work, they do work well, though, you've got to admit. I mean, most of them go wrong, I must confess. But my, you probably don't even notice. You're just sitting there thinking, hey, well, this is all right. You know, and all this clever stuff that I do just goes straight over your head, probably, or underneath it or something. From the crossfires from the LP, The History of Surf Music, you probably only notice it when I get it wrong, which is, as I say, a lot of the time. Out of control, that is, on Rhino Records. Before that, Chumba Wamba from the LP, a Mindless Slaughter, Artists for Animals. You know all of the people who are on it, I don't doubt. And that was Knit Your Own Balaclava. This is Jesse Hill from an LP called You're Ready Now on the Charlie R&B series. And uh, rather good lyrics to this one, quite interesting ones, given the period, uh, which was about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I suppose. The Pot's on Strike. <laughs> on a strike I got mad and lost my cool she must think I'm a fool you ain't even swept the floor she hollers up the broom's on a strike wait a minute baby what's wrong all day you've been on the phone hey I want to talk to you she hollers up Strike. Yeah. Oh, don't strike now, mama, because I'm hungry. You're looking good. Put the pots on the fire. Yeah. Good old woman, they get the pots and slap them on it. I'm on a strike. An untidy ending. Jesse Hill, and that comes from the LP You're Ready Now, Charlie R&B series, The Pots on Strike, uh, recorded on May, no, February the 13th of 1962. And some interesting notes, good notes from Neil Slavin. They always have uh, authoritative sleeve notes in the series. And uh, I'll read you a bit of it, because he sounds rather, rather a good bloke, Jesse Hill. It says, uh, he returned to New Orleans in the mid-1970s, but found musical employment hard to come by. For a spell, he drove a taxi, the poo cap. This is because of his great hit, his biggest hit uh, of 1960, Oop Pooper Do, which I'll play you sometime. It's the first track on the LP. But uh, the poo cap, which helped to su- supplement his scant musical income. On occasion, he still fields a band for small jobs around the city, and he still opens the bill for fat Domino's rare local engagements. His latest musical endeavour has been to sing the Adopt a Pothole campaign jingle, a programme devised by the strapped city of New Orleans to help improvise, improve the streets in 1987. I think they could do the same sort of thing to advantage in London and probably other cities too. From the Sugar Cubes, the last of them in session, and it's been a good session too. This is Mama. I was watching a woman who was walking down my street. Oh, 
I think I could learn to like this stuff, I must say. Those are the sugar cubes, the last from them in session, and that one's called Mama. Don't forget, on Monday, it's the Radio 1 debut in a sense of sync, although they were previously bad dress sense. I don't know if there's been any kind of upheaval in the lineup, but essentially bad dress sense, and a repeat of a fairly recent session from Newport's Darling Buds. Now the four, we haven't heard this one for a while. Well, I mean, a week or two. <laughs>
The fall, of course, Australians in Europe. Will it be in the festive 50? Well, we'll find out together over the Christmas and New Year period, of course. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if it is, I must say. And as I've mentioned in previous programmes, it does look like being quite an interesting festive 50. I've been, I had a bad-tempered day today, and if this has been any of this has come through in the programme, then I apologise for it. I don't think it's been bad-tempered, just the usual high level of incompetence. But the main reason for it was that it was uh, our Alexandra's 10th uh, birthday today, and, uh, you know, Daddy's position, really, on these occasions is at his daughter's side, and I wasn't able to be there because I was working. Obviously, I'm very pleased to be working. I'm not complaining about that, for sure. But uh, at the same time, I'd like to have been there. But she's going to get her own back on me, as I understand it, because at the weekend, uh, she's going roller skating with a posse of her uh, hooligan friends uh, in Bury St Edmunds. And she has it in mind, anyway, to make her dad do some roller skating as well. I think my old war wound will probably come festering to the surface again on that occasion. Whether she'll believe that or not, I'm not sure. These are the rose hips. <laughs> It's foiled again, trying to do some more clever stuff and got it wrong. Those are the rose hips, anyway, from a new 12-inch from them, which comes from the Subway organisation, and that's called I Shouldn't Have to Say. And from the LP by Angst on SST Records, the LP's called Mystery Spot. This is Red Wing. Not the old Red Wing, but a kind of new Red Wing of their own devising, is my understanding of it.
That's angst from the LP mystery spot, and in the light of recent events, I thought it'd be appropriate to end this week's programmes with something from Russia or the Soviet Union, specifically from uh, the Ukraine. This is from an LP sent to me by my mate in Hamburg. The LP is called Ukrainian Dawns and has such things on it as Song of Praise to the Party and Lenin's Banner Lights Up Our Way. But I'm going to play a track called In Our Polesie, and I have no idea at all what that means, by the Leonok Ensemble. Take it away, boys. <laughs> Boys and girls, actually, on the evidence of that. That's the last record in tonight's programme, something from the LP Ukrainian Dawns. And uh, on Monday night, sessions from Sink and the Darling Buds. Uh, tonight, of course, it's been the Sugar Cubes, their debut session for us, and a fine one as well. Tomorrow, Andy Kershaw with John Fay and the Dinner Ladies. And coming up shortly, the Midnight News Summary. Thanks very much for listening. No mistakes on Monday. You wait and see. Good night. <laughs>